tell me why I literally learn a term and then immediately come on here to come like film for you guys because this is so crazy everything's been like really picking up here but Dirty Talk episode bonus is going to be all about Locktober and shout out to Tutoria for actually sending me this in the discord I was like okay I need to share this with you guys because this is pretty insane here are all of the chapters for today let's just get right into the video so what exactly is Locktober and the more that I start to learn about it the more that I realize that it seems like something that's a very like male dominated thing but the way that I'm going to be discussing it today I want to like open it up and make it something that everybody can have fun with and everybody can kind of experiment with. According to oxyshop.com, the main idea is for the entire month wearing a chastity cage and doing activities that may enhance sexual frustration solo or with a partner. So again, it doesn't matter if you're doing this by yourself or if you're doing this alone. It's all about basically just maintaining your chastity. And now what in the heck is chastity, this weird word. Chastity is essentially abstaining from sex. Abstinence was basically created, I feel like, for a lot of different religious purposes and things like that, but over the years, this actually becomes something that can be fun for sexy time. So for the entire month of October, people are essentially giving up their sex lives, either for a partner or for themselves. It also says on the website that the challenge is essentially designed to reset the sexual appetite and get a better understanding of your body and what you want from sexy time. It's also a great opportunity to sort of like take a break and really give a reset to not only your appetite, but also your body. Sometimes our bodies actually need breaks from sexy time to sort of reset, realign, and get everything up and working again. And I love it because this article actually finishes by saying, and it can be an incredibly difficult but rewarding challenge. So make sure that you are not only physically prepared for this, but mentally as well because this can definitely be something that's very mentally stressful. So chastity play can be as simple as just not allowing your partner the permission to complete themselves in sexy time, or it can be as something as intense as an actual chastity belt. So something that somebody physically wears that locks up their genitalia, the genitalia area, so that way it is no longer accessible. I actually had no idea that people went so far into this kink. I literally like never actually know um, until I start doing research and so I was looking through this entire website and boy I must warn you guys like if you are not familiar with some of this just be a little bit prepared because it's definitely an intense one so the overall question I feel like on a lot of people's minds is why why would somebody want to do this you know or for some of you guys it might be I'm already down, let's get to it. <laughs> but for the people that are like, why would somebody wanna do this? There's a lot of different reasons, whether that have to do with role playing or just kind of something to spice it up a little bit in the bedroom, something a little bit more fun and exciting and new to try that you've never tried before. Also the aspect of sexual frustration, the sexual tension between the connection. For some people it also acts as a means of control in the connection so it can be, you know, control over your partner or control over your own self, especially when it comes to sexy time situations. So there's a rules that come with this and everything, okay. So here are some of the benefits that you will expect from a successful Locktober challenge. And I'm literally just reading off of this blog post because I think it's so interesting. Number one, you will learn to control your sexy time urges. So that's kind of interesting. You will have more control over your thoughts and over your fantasies. You will be able to focus more on other aspects of your life, such as hobbies or work. You will feel more connected to your partner emotionally as well as physically. And you will likely and most definitely receive a increase of the pleasure of the entirety of the sexy time experience after completing this challenge because at that point it's like when you've been starved of food for so long and then you finally get food how delicious and how much more you savor everything and how much more amazing everything tastes i think the same thing about the sexy time appetite too the more you starve it out the better and the more likely you are to want it and to want to get some more okay so if you guys are looking to partake in locktober here are the challenge 
end rule. You must wear a chastity device for the entire month of October, whether that means being locked up 24 seven nonstop or just wearing a cage 20 minutes per day in the month. Find what works for you and give it a try. I also wanna add that you guys don't need any fancy tools, any fancy techniques for this. Obviously, if you're into this and wanna get a little bit further into exploring this and this sort of side of things, I absolutely recommend that you you go full in. You try some some of these tools out and see if you like them. See what, what you want more of, what you want less of, you know? But for other people who maybe are just looking to try this out, I just wanna say, just try your best to abstain from it a hundred percent of the time. In the podcast that I listened to from my beautiful baby bimbo that she recommended, they were basically just discussing that people's partners usually are the ones that actually get to complete and then the other partner is going to be the one that just gets to watch, doesn't get to touch, has their hands down, flat, can't do anything, you just have to watch. And that I feel like is torture enough for some people. Yeah, this is interesting because this definitely does continue into the month of November as well for the entire month of No Nut November as some people like to call it, which I kind of thought was just a meme thing. I didn't think that this was actually something that's real and now this totally feels like it's something that's real. Like, oh my gosh. If you are going to be wearing a chastity belt of any kind, make sure that you are cleaning it at least once a week to help remove any bacteria as well as making sure that your device fits you properly so it's not cutting off any circulation. That would be very, very bad. If you guys look up some of these tools and devices though, like they have ones with spikes in them. They have ones that are just normal lock and key. They have ones that have attachables that you can put on them too. I just think it's absolutely crazy. Like one with spikes on it. Can you guys imagine? You are literally not allowed to get aroused because if you do, then the spikes come out. And I think that's crazy. This website is all about, you know, the chastity belts, the bondage and sort of stuff. And so they're definitely trying to like sell you on that stuff. But I just wanted to come on here and like openly discuss it because not only do I think it's so fascinating, and more people should definitely know about this because like, whoa, what a way to like kinky up your October a little bit. But also I just want to show you guys that there are more simplistic ways of doing this too, that you don't have to take it to the full extremes all the time. You can do something as simplistic as just having your partner withhold your privileges per se. I always kind of like to think of like Fifty Shades of Grey and Mr. Grey and how he wrote out the rule book for his partner to follow. That's kind of what could be done in the month of October. So there's specific rules around October where you are not allowed to get aroused. You are not allowed to self-play, self-complete, do anything like that. And just like having that rule book kind of written out and established. So if you don't want to go on ahead and spend all the money on a tool like this, you can have like something simplistic and a free tool like that to kind of help you guys out. Also, I know this hair, I literally cannot control it, you guys. Like it really does whatever in the world it wants to. The rules could also include that again, your partner is able to complete whenever they want to all over you if they want to or however you would like it however you are not able to complete they are not able to complete you but they can maybe get you up to that point a little bit here and there like with the teasing and everything involved i really just wanted to educate you guys on this though because i think it's so cool i definitely want to talk about more topics especially in the kink community in the kink world because i am the dick witch after all and i literally went to school to become a sex therapist and started doing this instead so i want to learn about this kind of stuff. If you guys ever have any ideas or want to send me anything, my Discord is always open. It's down below. You can find a community of kinky, witch-like people that are beautiful and so wonderful and kind-hearted too. They always have each other's best intentions in mind. It's just such a beautiful community. Definitely join us and leave me some little topics down below because I'm so curious and I want to discuss more of this. Just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention and basically just kind of say that like, I am going to try this, okay? <laughs> just for the last week or this week or so in October to just try and feel how I like it, see if I like it, see if I wanna do it more, and if I do, then maybe, who knows, I'll continue on into November. But for right now, I think I'm just gonna stick with October and just for a little bit here, see how I like it. I'll probably give you guys a little bit of a, a review of it later on. If you guys have any experience with this, definitely let me know down below. I wanna know what you guys are doing. Like, let me know, like, is this something you guys have done for a long time? Is this something that you guys would be interested in doing if you found the right person for it? Or if this is something that you 
you would even be interested in doing just by yourself. Because we don't need no mans, we don't need no, no partners, we are independent little queens, kings, and bimbos, okay? Maybe I'll just look through a little bit more of this for you guys as well. Prince Albert Chastity. That sounds like very fancy. I don't know what this is for. Oh my god, I don't think I want to know what this is for! Okay, you guys, don't look through the website. No, it's fun. i just, like, never seen anything like this before. These are surprisingly, like, very affordable, I feel like, for being as intensely designed and made as these ones are. I'm, like, trying so hard to look at some of these. I know that, like, on the other end of this, all you guys are hearing is, like, me literally just, like, screaming and looking at these. Oh my god! <laughs> I wish I could show you guys what I'm seeing, but clearly this would not be allowed on YouTube. Just know that it's a lot of nails, it's a lot of screws, there are some pulls that go into certain places. And again, these ones are all for male chastity. So let's look at some of the female ones now too. Yes! Oh my gosh! The chastity bra. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but this is actually so cool. Like I would wear this just for like fun. Like just for like a costume. <laughs> Having metal titties for a day I think would be so fun. And then it seems like the women's are mostly just like belts that have little locks and keys on them. So the key holder then would be probably your partner or it could be yourself if you really, really wanted it to, but just like throw away the key, you know, stay in the chastity belt forever. Who cares? Do whatever you want. Do whatever makes your heart sore. You know that one meme that's like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. Like, that's how I kind of feel about this. Like, the more that I look into it, I'm like, oh. And then I'm like, whoa. And then I'm like, mmm. Hmm? Oh my god, they have sci-fi? Sci-fi For what these are, these are literally so affordable. Like, I have never seen... Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I've never seen such high quality, like, sci-fi, you know, like, animal style that are also like affordable and I feel like this website really pops off on that honestly. An extra long unicorn horn. I'm having too much fun on this. This literally was just supposed to be like a short little teeny tiny video. Let me see how I'm doing on time. Just about like Locktober and then it became me exploring this website that's full of the craziest things I've ever seen in my life. But I'm like really really here for it and I'm glad that I found this website. So then you guys could go look at it too. I probably won't be able to link it down below because of the certain things that YouTube does not allow. But yeah, overall, I just want to bring to your guys' attention, like, Locktober! Are you guys going to be locking it up? Let me know down below. But yeah, that's basically all that I have for you guys today. I just wanted this to be, like, a very brief video on Locktober, what it is, what to expect, what to do if you want to partake in it, and just kind of bringing it to everybody's attention because I had never heard of this before. And that's pretty shocking, especially because, you know, it's me. It's literally me. But I'm always so excited to learn new things so thank you so much again shout out to Toria for sharing this with me in our discord check it out and I'll see you guys very very soon okay dirty talk episode something Goodbye. I got a new belly button ring too you guys feeling pretty good check it out bye Give me that chastity booty belt, baby. <laughs>